You know, when I'm asked to reflect on my time at an event that I've spent 20 plus years of my life at, I have these visions of different finishes come across. I see faces with tears in them. I see faces of joy. I see faces of disbelief that they can't believe they did it. But the thing that affects me most, especially here in Topol, is the community. It's almost like every spectator is doing the race with the athletes. They're out on the course with the thousands of volunteers. They're running alongside everybody. And this island of New Zealand is, I believe, one of the most special places on earth. So when I call someone an Ironman here in the finish line in New Zealand, for some reason it has that something little extra, and it always has. I could never explain it. I'd go home and go, what was that? What was that? And I just think it was the community having that extra spirit of supporting the athletes. They welcome them with open arms and they appreciate performance. The major thing that Mike brings is his selflessness. You know, he wants to make sure that every single athlete that crosses the finish line here in Topor experiences their best day. You know, that he's there to help welcome them into the Iron Man house. You know, they've made it, they've finished. And Mike's opening the door, you're in the Iron Man house, you are an Iron Man. I mean, it can't be understated how much he gives and how selfless the guy is. Family, it's everything. So when you have your ohana, your family with you here in Taupo, and you can come here all by yourself, and it's like you're walked into the living room of your cousins or your aunts or uncles. I've had athletes tell me that over and over again. I'm home, I'm back with my family. This Ironman family can never be broken, ever. The performances, every one of the athletes out there on the course has a backstory. Some of the backstories are tough. She may have battled breast cancer and survived. He may have a loss of a leg and he comes in and, and finishes the Ironman. They've had to jump over a lot of hurdles in their life to get where they are. They've gotten knocked down. They've even had family and friends tell them, you can't do this. And so when I see them perform and go the 226 kilometers to get, get to the finish line, those performances mean the most to me. The ones that are working full time, raising children, trying to keep the relationship strong with your partner, everything that has to do in life, produce income, and yet go out there and train 15, 20 hours a week. Those performances I'm in awe of. Each one is unique. It took me four years, I think, to win my first one. And, you know, and then finally you get to see, you know, to see Mike to greet you being the champion. Um, and then I was lucky enough to have that, you know, seven more times in, in New Zealand. So, you know, it just, you feel like you're doing it for yourself, but you're also doing it for Mike um, to make you feel, he just makes you feel so special. I've never seen any other commentator um, have that energy it's right through to midnight and people come down just for him because he's here. Uh, it's what I came over here for, so when I found out that this was his last race and it was on my bucket list to do that, so um, yeah, it was pretty special. I think you know, just those uh, those words that everyone um, gets addressed when they cross that finish line, you, you know, you are an Ironman, it's a pretty special moment. Seeing how he uh, carries the, the crowd and, and brings them up and um, really gets the best out of uh, the spectators, the volunteers and the athletes. Nobody has the enthusiasm or has had the enthusiasm like Mike has. Mike is Iron Man. I consider him the most famous four words in sport. Those four words aren't Mike Riley, they aren't me, they're not mine. They're the athletes. When I say them, it's my voice and my inflection and my passion and my heart for them, but it's their four words when they come down the magic carpet. Not mine, it's theirs. I probably couldn't have written a better script on my ending. I feel good about it. 
I feel comfortable about it to where it's right in my heart. I feel it's right. And I don't think I would have it any other way. It, this is, you know, I, I hate saying a word, a perfect ending, and I don't like the word retirement. Uh, but for my finish of doing what I've done so long, this land and these people are the ones I want to be with to do it, do the last one. No doubt in my mind. I, I am speechless, but I do have one more thing to say. To the last time. You are an Iron Man!